Are you, are you, are you ready? Yeah! Cool! Are you ready? Awesome! Yeah! Ouch! Alright guys, Brad here. Now today, I'm going to be showing you around the completed part of Section C of the South City. Um, but first, let's go on take a look in front. Now obviously as you can see we're started clearing out the land making it all flat and nice and make way for the new section B. Now obviously section B is going to be the more modern part of the South City um, but today we're going to be taking a look around the completed version of um, uh, the section C. Um, that's section B by the way not section C. This is section C. Um, this is going to be this is obviously the old school part. Now, as you can see, we've got ignore the beds on the church. That's what I just used to try and keep the weather at bay. Um, but, of course, it's looking really nice now. Uh, we've got all these shops there, and they've got all the new houses as well. And it's actually looking like a more old-school part of that you would find in a city. Now, we've done this all Tudor style, um, kind of like, I don't know, we kept it kind of like 16th century kind of look. But let's go head down to Ground View and take a look around. Now, in this part of the map, you would expect a lot more quests to be underground than you would usually expect. Quite simply because, if you're going around an old school part of town like this, you're going to expect it to be a bit more spooky than usual. Um, so, of course, we've been working really hard at putting the underground quests within this. Um, for example, just like underneath the uh, massive art library that like you see here, um, the church and the town hall and graveyard, especially, they've got tons of uh, underground quests um, within them. Just quite simply because they, it's a spooky area, isn't it? Really, um, but yeah. Also, as you can see, we've got our lodgings here. I think I showed you this in the last episode. Um, obviously, this is where you're going to be staying um, throughout your time within this city because you're going to need to actually kind of like store your items now of course as you can see here we've got our armory now that you can only access the tower once you defeat the big boss within the city because of course all the towns and cities have their own individual bosses which you have to fight but uh, of course we've also got our massive um, Grim Reaper here, now um, you've all seen him in the past, uh, I was quite proud of him seeing as I don't any, use any like reference materials or images um, to create him, it's kind of like off the back of my hand, uh, which I was quite impressed about that. Um, as we're going through, hey, go a little bit forward, we've got more houses down here, uh, just for the general old school part of it. Now. Um, as you'll see here, now I've uh, decided to put a few of these within the towns and cities. Now, uh, it's a bit different. It's going to be kind of like a purchase system, but for food as well. So that if you can't, if you don't have a chance to kind of like get any uh, food yourself from hunting, you can actually go and purchase it from one of these kind of like little farm stations uh, with cows and obviously pigs inside. Now, I'm just working out on what sort of currency I'm going to use for this. Um, but hopefully within the next update we're going to be able to see um, new things which we can use um, as currency uh, just to make it a bit more interesting really um, because we don't want to rely on the same currency that you'd expect for upgrades because they're kind of like A, they're hard to find and B, they're a pain in the ass to use really um, but we, so we're going to keep that for the armoured uh, armor and weapon upgrades um, but yeah, um, so we're going to use something else for that currency. Now as you can see we're back around to the other side of the town hall and now we're currently just ending up in the marketplace and also the kind of like fountain area um, and the other side of the library. Now of course we've got our clock towers here with um, just more shops really. We're going to kind of like, we're going to spruce it up a bit. Obviously we haven't listed um, any of the shops or named any of the shops. Um, quite simply because we've got to allocate a role for each single one of them to fit it in with the storyline. But that's going to come a bit later once we've actually completed the entire city itself, which is three sections obviously. Um, and of course after we've done the more modern part which is section B we're working on section A which is going to be the massive palace now that's going to be a hard job because obviously we've got to get it exactly right to the way we want it in order to fit in with the storyline um, but that shouldn't be too hard overall but yeah it's looking wicked isn't it anyway guys I thought I'd just talk about this little catch up and uh, actually show you the completed section um, C of this part of the city and uh, yeah guys um it's come on really, uh, come on really well, and I can't wait to see what Section B turns out for us. So, anyways, you take care, keep crafting, and see you later.